Looking live over downtown Norfolk at Winterfest aboard the battleship Wisconsin. Decades before the warship was decked out in holiday lights, it was one of the most powerful weapons for the U.S. Navy. Philip Townsend takes us back to the 1940s where it all began. The year 1943. Hundreds came out to the Philadelphia Navy Yard for the launch of USS Wisconsin. She will be an instrument of retaliation. Retaliation following the surprise attack on Pearl Harbor just two years earlier. Armed with 16-inch guns that could hit targets more than 20 miles away. It was one of the largest and last battleships ever built. It's a once-in-a-lifetime event. Fast forward to December of 2000. The battleship would find a new purpose and a new home. Hundreds coming out again to see her pull into downtown Norfolk. After three wars, the Wisconsin, now decommissioned for its second time, was ready to serve the community as a museum showpiece at Nauticus. The 16-inch guns sit inside a heavily armed gun house. Like, the shells that come out of there are just like huge. And something the men and women who served, especially those deployed on it, could cherish. Uh, anywhere we went, it was just a, a show of might and our resolve. And today that might and resolve hasn't faded. The battleship Wisconsin still stands tall, an imposing but welcoming presence on the waterfront downtown. No longer a war machine, it'll spend the rest of its days showing its softer, brighter side, whether you're up close or just passing by. 413 News Now. I'm Philip Townsend. The Wisconsin was added to the National Register of Historic Places in 2012.